Hi everyone, hope you're doing well. In this video, we're having a look at this Web Security Academy lab that is vulnerable to a DOM-based cross-site scripting attack. And to complete the lab, we simply have to call the JavaScript alert function. But there's a couple of things in our way. Angle brackets and double quotes are getting HTML encoded, and we'll have to exploit a vulnerability within AngularJS instead. So let's give that a go within the lab. Let's start with a basic injection, source equals one. On our, let's call alert, and we want to see the document origin. Let's close this out and hit search. And we don't get a pop-up. Let's go to the source, alert. And we can see here that's because the image tag angular brackets are getting HTML encoded. That's why we're not seeing the pop-up. So this is not a good path forward for us. What we can see here is that Angular JS 177 is being used and the ng app directive is added to the body HTML element. And what that means is that we're anywhere within the body HTML element, we're able to execute JavaScript code uh, within double curly braces uh, within the AngularJS sandbox. So let's execute this and we get back 42. So that's working. Sadly, we can't do something like this because the AngularJS JavaScript sandbox doesn't give us access to functions like alert and print. Uh, within the double curly braces. So we'll have to find a way to access the alert function in a, in a kind of roundabout way. Let me show you what that would look like within the JavaScript console. So within the JavaScript sandbox itself, let's say we don't have access to the alert function, but we, we do, we're asked to trigger it. Uh, what we do have access to is the print function. And what we could do is we could say print function, who is your constructor? And what gets back is the function constructor. And if we look that up, in the documentation, we'll see that the function constructor here uh, creates a new function object and calling the constructor directly can create functions dynamically. So in the syntax here, we're able to call the function constructor and we're able to put the function body in between the parentheses. So let's give that a go. What we could do is we could say print constructor, which is the function constructor, and we could say alert like this as our function body. We hit enter, we don't get an alert pop-up. That's because we have simply created the function. We haven't actually called it. Let's call it and execute it. And now we get the pop-up here. And that's basically it, because like what we have to do within AngularJS is quite similar. So here we're in the, the JavaScript normal sandbox and the scope. And from within the curly braces inside AngularJS, we're within the AngularJS scope. And we just have to find a way to perform the same trick there. Let's have a look and see what kind of methods are available for us within that scope. Um, I think I found a few within this article here, scope and AngularJS. Let me scroll down. And uh, these are the methods that we, we have available. I think I saw on an eval being used in the lab solution, but we can pick any of these. Uh, we're not interested in what they do. We're just using them as a gateway to get to the constructor function so we can call the alert function from within the body of the constructor function. So let's copy watch here and then let's say open the curly braces watch inside and access the constructor and then we're going to do the same thing as we did on the on the right side here in the javascript console we're just going to call alert and then we're gonna uh, call the function immediately and if you click search now we'll have solved the lab so let's do that and we get the pop-up and we've solved the lab now, if I go back and pick any of the other functions like digest, you'll see it doesn't matter which one we pick. So let's say digest, uh, digest, and then we say digest.constructor. We call the alert function and we call it immediately and hit enter. We'll get alert again. So it doesn't matter which one of these methods we pick, they all work, but we're just using them to get to the constructor function. And that's how you solve this lab. There's not much more to it. Thanks for watching, and I hope this was helpful to you.